I am gonna work as a supercar taxi here in Brookhaven. So first of all, let's go and customize our taxi or supercar first to make it more look like a taxi. So I'm just gonna make it yellow. And also we should probably go ahead and equip the taxi job so people can call me. There we go. There we got the taxi driver and we got our phone equipped. Okay, perfect. We can go ahead and get to work now. Oh man, I'm already getting a call. And where is this call coming from? Okay, so it seems like it's coming from over by the summer cap. So I was gonna head over to the summer cap and see what's going on. And yeah, he's going to be standing on the beach over there. Alrighty, hold on, sir. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. And bro, my car is a bit slow for a supercar. So let's go change that a little bit. And maybe even the rims. Yeah, we need some cooler rims on this thing. So yeah, maybe those are some cool rims. There we go. And let's go turn on the headlights because it's a little bit dark down here by the summer cap. And bro, it's just standing here and fishing. Okay, let's go have a chat with this dude. Hey there, sir. You called me, my man. Uh, aren't you gonna ask for a taxi? Is that a taxi? Yes, sir. This is a taxi. Hop on in, man. Let's gonna go for a ride, dude. Why are you just standing there? Get in now! <laughs> to the police station! Alrighty, well, we can do that, sir. Okay, so he's going to be going over to the police station from the summer camp. That's gonna be a long ride. Uh, I'm really wondering how much money should I really charge for this ride? Is it like a valid $100 ride? I think so, dude. And he gets to experience the supercar. So it's definitely gonna be uh, $100. So let's gonna park it up right here. And dude, that was a pretty solid park. Parking. Okay, sir, that's gonna be $100. And boom, it just paid me. Awesome. Okay, let's gonna head over to the next customer and see if we will be able to make some more money. And dude, I am really liking this new supercar here in Brookhaven, dude. It looks a whole lot more like a Lamborghini than the old one. And did they actually make the other Lamborghini free? Yo, they made it free. Holy cow. Okay, so not it's not even premium anymore. That's so cool of them. So yeah, you got a free, basically like a free premium vehicle now. But anyways, let's go to knock on some doors and ring on some doorbells and see if if anybody needs a ride. Hello there, ma'am. Do you maybe need a ride? And yo! Dude, she banned me! And I'm getting a call, so I should probably head over to the call. And why did she ban me, bro? I was so respectful. Oh, man, why are people like this in Brookhaven? I, I will never understand it. Once you're, like, irrespectful, you're trying to be nice, and then they just ban you? Dude, can somebody explain that to me? I don't really know. Anyways, we're gonna get our new car spawn in and head over to the new caller. And where's this call coming from? Okay, so it's coming from over there. Uh, it's coming from my house. Not really sure. Or is it coming from the behind the house? Let's go ahead and figure that that one out and nope okay so it's coming from the behind the house all righty all righty let's go head over to the caller and give this person a ride okay where are you going to Okay, we can head over to farm. So let's gonna take the highway over to the farm. I'm not going to be driving through the city because I think there's a lot of traffic there. So let's gonna try and save some time. Hey, yo, man, we just did a jump. Yeah, buddy, I'm gonna show her what a supercar is made for. And should I hit the jump over there? You know what? Let's gonna do it. Let's gonna try this jump right there. And boom, man. Oh, dude, we cleared it. <laughs> Yeah, this is what happens when you get in the supercar taxi. It's going to be super fast and super cool. Okay, here we go. That's going to be $200 just because I did some jumps as well. So, yeah, it's more expensive that way. Thank you very much. Okay, she handed over the cash. So, that was $200 and we made $100 from the customer earlier on. So, that is $300 in total. Bro, I am getting rich from this. Not too bad, man. I'm really liking my job as a supercar taxi so far. And, yeah. Oh, what, dude? Did you guys see that? Holy cow. Oh, man, okay, that was kind of epic. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm such a terrible driver. Okay, well, we do got a, uh, yeah, we got Starbucks here, and there's a couple of people on the inside. Maybe I should grab myself a cup of coffee. Hello there, sir. One coffee, please, my man. Okay, let's go and pay the gentleman behind the counter, and hopefully he will give me a coffee or a smoothie or a milkshake. I don't care, dude. I need something to drink. And yo, is he actually gonna give me something to drink, or is he just, he's just standing there staring at me? Okay, uh, is it a self-serve Starbucks? Let's gonna go behind the counter then and grab myself a cup of coffee because this guy is not helping me at all. Okay, there we go. I got my coffee, get my energy levels up, and then I'm going to be grabbing some more customers. So let's go ahead back into the supercar and see what kind of customers we can find. And yo, I'm getting another call and it seems like it's coming from on top of the neighborhood right here. So let's go ahead and head over there and see if we can go ahead and grab this customer real quick and make some more money. 300 bucks in total. That's not too bad. And yo, dude, we got an army dude there. I'm 
super soldier to the airport, please. Okay, we can go ahead and head over to the airport, super soldier. And, bro, I'm getting another call as well. Okay, so, yeah, let's go to get this super soldier to the airport ASAP. And then we're heading over to the next caller. And since this is a soldier, should we just give him a discount? Okay, bro, you're gonna get a soldier's discount. It's gonna cost you $50, though. Super soldiers don't pay. Uh, okay, well, dude, that's so trash, bro. Why is he not paying? Come on, dude, I was even trying to give him a discount. Come on, man, that's so bad. But anyways, I was getting a call from this house right here. Let's go head over to this house and knock at the door and ring the doorbell. And yeah, hopefully somebody will answer. I do see somebody up on a balcony there. That could be the person that called me. I'm not really sure, bro. Hey, you called the taxi, guys. They're not gonna respond once I'm actually on the outside here, dude. Okay, so they're not really coming down. Uh, or are they? Oh, there we go. He jumped down. He jumped down. Okay, sir, where are you going, my man? You called the taxi. And, bro, I'm getting another call. And we got a guy inside of the taxi who is not really responding to me. So, yeah, bro, I'm not really sure what to do. And why am I getting a call from under the ground? I don't really know how to get under the ground. So, yeah, I don't really know what to do about that. Bro, where is this call coming from? It's under the ground. Okay, so it's up by the plane. Okay, so let's go head over to the plane then and see what the caller wants because this person is out of my car. He's not really responding. He's just sitting inside of my car, which is weird. Anyways, let's go to see who is calling me here. So, bro, the call just went away, but hopefully they are inside of the plane here. Is there anybody in the plane? Hello? Bro, you can't call me and then you just leave, dude. That's so annoying. So I just got prank called. Oh, man, I'm getting yet another Another call, dude. Why am I getting calls from all over the map here, bro? This is so weird, man. I'm getting calls from everywhere, and this is going to be from the lake. Okay, luckily I actually see the person that is calling me because yeah, it's been kind of annoying not making money from driving all around the city. Okay, sir, where are you going to, my man? To the gym, son. Okay, well hop on in there, dude. I can take you over to the gym. So this guy wanna go over to the gym. You know what? Maybe I'll join him over by the gym. Maybe I need to get a pump in, dude. I gotta work out my arm. Yeah. Okay, so let's go gonna jump out by the mall here and yeah i'm just gonna join him in the gym i need a little pump man i've been was sitting in the taxi all day so yeah it's time to get a little workout on there we go oh man dude he's lifting some weights too man okay so we're really working it out here and dude are these 50 pound dumbbells dude i'm so strong this is how you train yeah you tell them gramps that's how you work out Woo, man i can feel i'm becoming stronger by the second man yeah okay there we go that was pretty nice pump um, World record bench press right here. Oh, dude, that is 300 pounds. That's a lot. But do you maybe need a ride home or something? No, I sleep at the gym. Okay, so this grandpa just sleeps at the gym. All right, well, that's probably why he's so strong because he basically lives over by the gym. Well, that's cool, but I still need some more money. So, yeah, hopefully this dude needs a ride. Where are we going to, bro? And he just jumped out. Okay, so he jumped into my taxi and then he jumped out. So, yeah, will I be able to find another customer? Maybe I'll just need like one more customer of today and then I can say I'm happy about today's effort. So let's go and try and find the last customer here in Brookhaven and where can they be? I'm not really sure. Oh bro, I'm getting another call. Okay, so I think it's coming from over by the motel. So let's go head over to the motel and see what's going on here and yo, okay so there's people by the motel here and what is this guy doing? Got a sword? To Eagle's View. Okay, so this guy with the sword he's going over to the Eagle's View. Alrighty maybe he's gonna hunt down some eagles. I don't know dude. So let's go and drive over over to Eagles View real quick. Here we go. Okay, that's gonna be $100, dude. So hopefully you'll actually pay me for this. You can have my sword. Okay, thank you, I guess. So I literally just got a sword from that, dude. Okay, well, I guess it's worth more than $100. Aren't swords, like, super expensive? I don't know, but that has been quite the epic day as a taxi driver here in Brookhaven. And that's gonna be it for today's episode. Really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.